Hi, I'm Ravant. This is part 7 of a web services video series. In this session, we will discuss a session state in web service. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are using sessions in web service. In order to use sessions in web service, we need to import this namespace system.web.services.webservice. Enable the web method attribute has enable session equal to true. Yellow cookies equal to true in web.config. Let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched a part 4, part 5, part 6 of this video series, I strongly recommend to watch before proceeding this video. In part 4, I have discussed bindings in web service. In part 5, I have discussed a visual web service description language in web service. In part 6, I have discussed creating proxy in a client application. Session state in web service. In order to use the sessions in a web service, we need to follow these three steps. First step is importing system.web.services.webservice namespace. And second step is enable the property for a web method attribute has a enable session equal to true. And the third step is at client side enable the hello cookies equal to true in web.config let's be look in action how to create a web service which uses session state let's flip to visual studio click on file new website select the language template has visual c sharp and framework has a 4.5 select asp.net empty website Rename the project as Sessions in Web Service. Click on OK button. That will create your project. Once the project is created, right click on the project click add new item select web service rename has my service extension is dot asmx click on add button this is the web service in order to access the sessions in the web service we need to follow three steps First step is we need to import system.web.services.webservice. By default, while we create the web service, this this is auto generated. And second step is we need to enable the web method attribute has enable session equal to true. Now let's create a service like a when we call this method it should return a string value at the same time it, it has to store that string value in the session let's create string name has the input parameter and list of string lt names if session look at the intelligence it shows the session names equal to equal to null then lt names equal to assign a new else lt names equal to session typecast this 
this session with list of string now add lt names dot add of string item name lt names and return this name or we can do like this string dot format in place of zero hello world will print it in place of one name will come let's create one more method when we call that method it it should return all the list of string stored in the session let's create public list of strings has get names to consume the time i have already written the code let's copy and paste it is very straightforward if session name what we have created earlier in this method if it is equal to null or empty it should return list of strings from the session i have type casted this session as a list of string if the session name equal to empty then it comes to this block list of it assigns the list of string and it adds no records to display and it returns now build the solution build succeeded now quickly run our project look at this we get only hello world link but in the service we have created two two methods get names and hello world method this is because we have not decorated this get names with a web method attribute let's stop debugging and create web method and enable session equal to true now press control f5 to run the project now we can see get names and hello world links now click on get names get names does not accept any input parameters click on invoke button so it displays no records to display now go back and click on hello world link give name has dot net click on invoke button so it displays hello world dot net give other name hello world raven other name has web service tutorial it displays now go back to the links and uh, click on get names click on invoke button it displays all the list of strings so this states that web service uses sessions let's create one more method has get count it gives the count value first if the session value is uh, equal to equal to null the count value will be zero 
or else if the session uh, has uh, some value then it uh, increments the count value and uh, that count value is assigned to session let's run and quickly check this now click on co get count click on invoke button initially session is empty so it returns 0 has count value and uh, click on invoke button session has uh, some value has count 0 so it returns it increments the value and uh, returns that click on invoke button again so the value gets incremented now let's consume this uh, web service in client application let's flip to visual studio click on file new website select a language template as visual c sharp framework has 4.5 select asp.net empty website rename the project as client session web service click on ok button once the project is created right click on the project add add new item select web forms and click on add button now right click on the project click on add service reference before that run this project take the URL and paste it here and uh, click on go button so we we have get count get names and hello world methods click on ok button that will create the client proxy to consume the time I have already designed the UI just copy paste now let's create an event handler for this uh, button click on click equal to create a new event handler and for count on click equal to create new event handler that's it flip to dot cs file for getting names from the service creates service connection service reference one dot my so my service soap client client equal to new call the method client dot hello world method which accepts string value txt name dot text dot trim this will return string name let's call client dot get names method this will return array of string so we can directly give to grid for display grid view get names dot data source equal to client dot names 
एंड जी वी गेट नेम्स डॉट डेटा बाइंड दैट्स इट एंड फॉर गेटिंग द काउंट क्लाइंट डॉट गेट काउंट this will return string string count equal to client dot get count we will display this lbl get count dot text equal to count dot to string that's it build the solution let's quickly run our project press control f5 to run the project enter name before that we can directly click on get names so it displays no records to display now enter name has dot net click on get names but it is still showing no records to display let's check this get count it shows count has zero click on get count again it still shows zero has the value this is because we have not set hello cookies to true in the web.config hello cookies to true let's run the application now enter name click on get names it shows dot net click on let's give another name dot net raymond web service let's check this count click on get count button it shows zero click on get count once again it shows the value has incremented in order to use sessions in the web service we need to import system.web.services.web service and enabling the web method attribute has enable session equal to true and at client side enable the hello cookies to true in web.config in next tutorial we will discuss what is timeout exception in web service thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you